time is about to come when Sony might do a comeback in the smartphone market. And by comeback, I mean it can seriously impress its fan base and new customers. Even though Sony is just disappointing its fan base from past some years with flop phones in highly competitive market. We all loved the Sony phones at one point of our life. I'm a bit of a Sony fan myself. But not sure why Sony is thinking like HTC and want to end up like them. Sony launched pretty good looking phones but always left some basic features like battery or good fingerprint sensors. Thinking customers don't need it. But what is the point of the flagship phone with nice camera, 4K screen but poor battery performance and big price tag. By the way I'm talking about Xperia 1. The phone was great but the fingerprint sensor and the poor battery backup was a shame. But Xperia 10, its budget brother, was equally as bad as the flagship. With plastic back, poor battery backup, poor fingerprint sensor and lousy processor and the price tag of $499 wasn't worth for $500 at all. But this might get changed with Sony's new upcoming launch which can be priced at $899 for flagship and $399 for the budget option. And of course price will go down as the time passes. So let's talk about the phones, what's new in them. First of all the name of the phone is used for both of the phones is taken from Sony's most popular camera segment Mark II or Mark I and the numbers are meant to be in Roman by the way. So starting with the flagship Sony Xperia 1 Mark II which will have 865 processor which comes with 5G ready as a fault. And as a surprise Sony decided to keep the headphone jack with hi-fi audio deck for the superb sound quality but biggest improvement is the battery. Yes it will be 4000 mAh this time and which should give at least one day of full use considering 4K OLED screen and 5G. Stereo sound setup and no notch or punch hole might be something refreshing. Plus 21.9 ratio display is appealing to many people including me. And how can we forget Sony flagship will always be a camera centric phone. Look at the camera pictures taken from Xperia Mark II. Certainly looks great. Cinematography Pro powered by Cine Alta 21.9 ratio movie recording. Pre installed app which will give you the access to similar parameters and color settings as professionals. Sony is definitely trying something new with the cameras. This cinematic look and pro options should give a reasons for camera enthusiasts to play with the phone. Some more things you will see in this Xperia Mark II. Like 360 audio reality sound which will give you the experience to record and play in a new format called 360 reality audio. And we will get to know about the technology more when it actually gets out or if it's a gimmick. One thing in which Sony never was wrong was the OS. Clean OS and close to stock Android with Sony extras like side mount option which I really liked. Plus this time they gave some extra functionality with multi window options. You will be able to jump from one app to recent used apps. Talking about OS, both phone will be shipped with Android 10 and with Sony update track record, customers should at least get a couple of major updates. So let's talk about the budget options which is Xperia 10 Mark II which can be priced at $399 or maybe same as before $499 but I really hope Sony launches this phone for $399 as iPhone SE and Pixel 4a will be the big challenge for this phone. So in looks department phone is okay which with some chunky bezels on the top and the bottom. But the good thing is it has 6 inch OLED screen and a headphone jack on the top of the phone. We will see IP6568 water resistant rating 
which is the flagship grade feature. A triple lens camera featuring ultra wide angle, wide angle and telephoto lens with automatic AI settings according to different scene setup. Phone will record 4K footage with study shot option. Battery will be little bit on the smaller side which is 3600 mAh but should do fine as it need to support smaller screen and no 5G. Rest of the things like multi window and Android 10 and clean stock OS will be the same as Xperia 1 Mark II. I will be a little bit worried about the processor though as it has Snapdragon 630 processor which might do okay considering last year Xperia 10 had a similar processor but no performance issues. So let's see if Sony will be able to pull out this time and I haven't given up on Sony yet. Please let me know how would you feel about these two new phones. Would you buy these phones or ignore them? Let me know in the comments and press the like button if you found this video helpful and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. That should be all. Signing out. See you in the next one. Cheers.